welcome back to our youtube channel basic concept of geology we have already finished 25 questions from 2008 ITJM question paper let's see the question number 26 the 26th question is a gray brown color mineral of metallic luster gives cherry red streak the mineral is so if you have watched my video on physical property of mineral then within a second you can give the answer the mineral is hematite i have already explained about the hematite in that video so please go and watch that video see the first option is ulfermite what is ulfermite so ulfermite is an iron magnesium standard state mineral formula is femnwo 4 it is the most important tungsten ore and the color is grayish to brown black Luster is from metallic to resinous and a streak is reddish brown to black. Black is also, it is reddish brown but it could be black also. Formula of hematite is fe 3 it is a iron ore. Color of hematite is reddish brown to black. A streak will be red brown and luster of hematite is sub metallic to metallic. It could be dull also. Now, chromite. Formula of chromite is FeCr2. Color of chromite is black. A streak will be brown and luster will be submetallic. Now, magnetite it Fe3O4. Color is black. Streak is also black and the luster of magnetite is metallic. Next question is rapid mass moment of water saturated regolith is called. So, mass moment is divided into two parts earth flow and landslide. And what is the difference between earth flow and landslide? In landslide, there is a definite zone or a surface, but in case of earth flow, it flows randomly. There is no definite surface. Earth flow is further divided into soil creep, rock creep, soliflexion. There will be a earth flow also, and then mud flow. Okay. In case of landslide, we have a slum, rock slide, rock fall. The basic definition of these terms you can read from the Bangar. Now let's see this diagram. This is a type of movement and this is the type of material. In type of material, we have a rock and a soil that is unconsolidated material. In case of flow, look, this is slow and this is rapid. It means rock creep is slowest and the debris avalanche is fastest. All this material is saturated. So from this table, we can say that our answer is earth. The question number 28 is, which one of the following minerals shows the four sets of cleavage? Fluorite has perfect octahedral cleavage. That is four sets of. In calcite, three sets of cleavage. In alvite, two sets of perfect cleavage that will be perpendicular to each other. In barite, there are three sets of perfect cleavage. Next question is the glucophen and lawsonite mineral assemblies is diagnostic of. First of all, what is glucophen? Glucophen is sodic. Amphibole. Formula of this is Na2Mg3Al2Si8O22OH. It shows the blue color. And the lawsonite is calcium aluminum sorosilicate. Formula of lawsonite is CaAl2Si2O7. OH called to H2O. Okay. Lawsonite is orthorhombic. And this mineral form at high pressure low temperature and that is the characteristics of blue cyst phases and blue is due to the color of glucophen that is blue so let's move to the next question hydrothermal deposit form at the temperature range of 50 to 200 degrees celsius is known as this is very easy the answer is epithermal so we have already discussed about the hydrothermal deposit in previous questions if you remember so hydrothermal deposit is classified into the hypothermal and mesothermal epithermal okay this is the sequence this is hypothermal format 500 degree celsius to 300 degree celsius okay and mesothermal form 300 degree celsius to 200 degree celsius and epithermal form 200 degree celsius to 50 degree celsius so in case of hypothermal the characteristic or are arsenopyrite olfermite native gold and chalcopyrite in case of mesothermal, we found gold, bornite, esphalerite, galena, and arginite. Formula of arginite is Az2S. Okay. In case of epithermal, which is formed at the low temperature condition and at shallow depth. So, depth of epithermal deposit is near 1500 meter. An example of Epithermal deposits are ruby silver, stibnite. So these are the example of epithermal deposits: ruby silver, stibnite, and cinnabar. So our answer is epithermal. And now what is telethermal? It is also formed at low temperature condition, but 
it is more shallower than the epithermal for epithermal depth is around 1 km to 1.5 km whereas in telethermal it will be formed more near to the earth surface so that this is the difference between epithermal and telethermal so our answer is epithermal so this is the last question of 2008 so with this question we have finished the 2008 question paper we have done all the mcq of 2008 question paper so thank you for watching this